Item 10B, adopt a resolution authorizing the city manager to execute certificate of acceptance for property adjacent to the Acapella well site and execute license agreement with Monogram Residential Acapella LP for temporary construction access. Good evening, Honorable Mayor, members of the City Council. Um, the item in front of you tonight is regards to the acceptance of property of vacant land adjacent to the existing Acapella well site to be used for a future well facility. Just kind of a brief, uh, brief background on the development of the project. Um, the city had an existing well located at Commodore Park, which was a source of city water supply until it went out of service in 2010. And six potential well sites were evaluated and two of these sites were determined to be suitable for the replacement well location. And one was at the parcel on the crossing uh, uh, at San Bruno Acapella site and the other was near the existing well facility at Commodore Park. The city contracted with the firm Erler and Kalinowski, EKI, uh, for engineering design services for the replacement well. The initial phase of work was to put together the bid documents to perform the test well and determine the estimated production rate and then the production well design and installation. The last phase of work will be to design the well facilities and include a new building. That includes a new building similar to the well 20 at Lions Field and treatment facility. So EKI completed the, the bid documents for the test wells at, for these two locations and it was advertised for uh, construction. And the first test well was installed, to be installed was at the Acapella well site. And since the aquifer at the site is deeper than the Commodore uh, site, which would potentially provide a higher production rate. And um, here's a slide that shows the location of the proposed well site. You can see the Acapella um, property that's located there and then next to that is National Archives. So this property is kind of nestled in between uh, 380 and uh, Acapella at the a corner uh, there. So, so the test wall was completed uh, at the Acapella site first and then drilling logs and water sample results concluded that the uh, location will be capable of producing about 400 gallons a minute of water, which is comparable to other um, wells in the city. And all the, the water quality tests also showed that the treatment will be required at this well site for manganese. The city staff contracted firm EKI then began, began to uh, develop the conceptual design and laying out the proposed building footprint and electrical components and determining the in ingress and egress into the well facility. And during the design, it was determined that the required building footprint, footprint for the treatment facility needed to be larger to accommodate the filters, piping, and electrical equipment and the ingress and egress to the well site was obstructed by an adjacent vacant parcel as well. So here's a close-up look of the well site. So the city was granted the, the, the shaded uh, green area that you see there. And um, Marina Drive was a private road. And there's parking adjacent to it. So the city, we were pretty much landlocked uh, for that little parcel. We weren't able to you know, get into that site at all. So, uh, and hence the reason why we started coordinating to, to um, acquire or to to request the additional parcel adjacent to it. So due to the site constraints, uh, we, we contacted professional land services to assist in coordinating with the property owner, to determine whether the adjacent vacant parcel can be granted to the city. And the owner of this acapella site you know, uh, has changed hands several times. And, and now you know, we're dealing with mon monogram residential acapella uh, LP instead. So, so they were contacted and uh, professional land services uh, successfully negotiated ownership transfer for this parcel. It's about 2,050 square feet uh, to the city for zero dollars. Um, so they have an executed grant deed to the city for recordation and, uh, and a license agreement uh, needs to be executed as well uh, for co temporary construction access for this production well. So to accept the adjacent parcel, um, the city attorney and city manager must execute a certificate of, of acceptance and follow it along with the executed grant deed at the San Mateo County Recorder's Office. So, and a resolution is, is necessary as well. And as far as fiscal impact, there's, it's an established project in the CIP and it's funded through the Water Enterprise Fund. So there's no additional fee for the acceptance of trop property here other than the record, recordation fees. But that's all I have. Good. Any questions any for questions. Jimmy or, or uh, action? Action by the council. Go ahead. Go ahead. Introduce the resolution. Vice Mayor Ibarra? Aye. Council Member Marty Medina? Aye. Council Member Rico Medina? Aye. Council Member O'Connell? Aye. Mayor Ruane? Aye. 